Yes, I always do this every morning because if not, I'll forget. Does anyone else have a naughty cat? Look how nice, these are all good. These are all good. And then look what she does. Every morning I wake up and she's broken one. So I'm gonna have to glue this back on. Sometimes she takes the hair off. Just have to, oh, oh there's a funny smell in here. Maybe it was the laundry room. These bottom ones, I when we moved in, I didn't have the little stick I need to actually make one. So I have to <laughs> open these manually. I actually got this plant yesterday. I just want to move her over to get a little bit of sun when it comes in. I still have to um, put them in a good pot. So I bought this one and two more. I'm trying to squeeze in. This one, which is a ficus. Um, That's one of my cats. She likes to mess up the rug, like fix her nails on the rug. Um, she has a cat tree and a scratching post, but she loves to mess up the rug. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have to clean her though because she's a little dirty. I'm not sure how I feel about her. It looks like a big cabbage plant to me. My younger son likes it though. So I bought the one in the dining room. I bought this one and also this one. We had our Christmas tree here. Um, but when we took the Christmas tree down, I felt like that corner looked so plain. So, oh, and then these all came from one plant but i kept propagating it enough so that i had all for all four windows um the only thing is they turn towards the sun and i feel so bad if i keep flipping them over but it looks look at the difference look how pretty that looks compared to that one but i feel like I feel like I'm making them work if I flip them over because in time they're just going to turn towards the sun again am I a bad plant mom <laughs> it's like night and day This one was from a different one. You can see her leaves are darker. see how long it takes for them to turn again okay just gonna turn the oven on so I can make breakfast in a little bit um, is where one of my sons likes to do school I am going to um, I told you I like yellow <laughs> um, normally I sit and knit for a while while I listen to the Bible um, and that's just what I'm gonna do now for a few minutes um, 
before I get up and start my day. Okay. Oh, I guess I can just flip you over. today because there are a few things I would like to do. I finished my lazy Sunday state of mind sweater so I would like to block it. Um, I also have a bunch of granny squares that I wanted to show on the next podcast so I would like to lay them out fully on the floor and take a picture of them so I have it ready for that. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. I never made the stitch markers that day. So I'll probably do that today as well. Oh, and I also needed to wind up some yarn. The mid along starts tomorrow. The mitt along starts tomorrow. So I need to finalize what colors I was going to at least start with. And oh, I don't need to wind them up because they're already in a ball. I forgot about that. Never mind. I guess I just need to decide and print up the pattern and do that. Um, but anyway, I won't take you throughout the entire day. I'm sure you don't want to see me cleaning because um, I do need to do some of that today. Um, but I figured I can at least take you along with me for the fun stuff. Um, okay. My camera is blinking, but the battery is about to die. So I guess I will just try to finish this row and then change out the battery. I never know what I'm going to find when I come up here because my cat. We have two dogs and two cats. So one of the cats, do you see that little hole right there? She likes to pull the fabric out and go in there. For some reason, she only does it to this square. The two end squares on the bottom are the two that she does. So I wasn't sure. Okay. What I did want to do was take these. And I'll talk about this more on the podcast. Sorry, I, th I could do this with one hand. I'll talk about this more on the podcast but I wanted to put those granny squares in some sort of order and take a picture I feel like there may be some more up there okay <laughs> okay so So this is what I have. I am going to set up the camera somewhere and get to work. Um, 
um, I feel like I'm not sure whether to do them randomly um, or actually have a pattern to them. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. because um, I've never done this before so I'm assuming it'll still look scrappy even if um, I do them in some sort of order but I don't know so I guess I have time though because I don't think I'm gonna I feel like I may have joined two of these together But now I've been inspired to do this again. All right, let me see if I can prop you somewhere. It's a little easier than making you all dizzy going back and forth. Um, all right, let me see. Um, Maybe I should put you up on a higher tripod so that you can actually see all the colors. I'm not quite sure exactly how many I have. I don't know if I've ever counted them. By the way, the cat that pulls the fabric out of there is also the cat that is breaking the heads off of the philosophers. I don't know if I have any more of this yarn. I will say seeing all these little tiny granny squares is making me want to do another one. I don't have that many of this color. Okay, so maybe I can't do them. Okay, see, this is me attempting to put them together. That's as far as I got. Okay. I guess by virtue of the fact that I only have three of this color, so that means I do have more of this yarn somewhere. By virtue of the fact that I only have three of this color, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of this one, means I am probably going to have to make it completely scrappy. And not in some sort of order, because I wouldn't have enough. I flip you over. So this is what I'm dealing with. It doesn't look like a lot when I put them there, but when I come down on the ground, the stacks are pretty high. <laughs> it looks like I have the most of yellow and gray. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I have green, which is my other... <laughs> If you think about the dress I'm making, is that color and the sweater. All right, I'm going to set you up somewhere so I can do this quick. This is really pretty. 
she has. You're making a quilt. You're finishing the quilt. I have to get. I have to. Put them oh, this together. is the quilt that you started all that time ago. This is my quilt. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> my quilt. Mom's been working on this for years. Then it's gonna be me contributing to it. I'm not doing it. it. I'm not. There's no order. No, I know, but I don't. I don't want to. I want it to all come from you. So, by the way, when it's completely randomized, mm -hmm. if two of them are touching each other or if two of them are connected, like it's okay because it's random. Well, I'm trying not to have two browns next to each other. But if it's randomized, it's gonna happen. I don't like just. Don't even think about it, just plop them down. Do you know what you should do? Hear me out, look, look, look. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Set them up in a row in front of you, close your eyes, and just start going like this. But then you can end up with too many darks. Like That's okay, it's <laughs> random, it, it's okay. You're not doing random, you're doing... <laughs> You're itemizing them. No. <laughs> You're not randomizing them. Make it completely ran literally put the listen, put them in front of you and just do a row straight down. And just literally take your hand and go like this. That's so not you. But that's random. You cannot even see I'm doing my sort of random. Yeah, that's not random. Randomize. I'm gonna I'm gonna take all these that you done and flip them. <laughs> what I'm left over with. I have four orange squares and then the ones that I started to put together. So it's not very large. It won't be very large. It'll be
82 by 58 inches. Can you see? There you go. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Um, I am not going to start joining them yet. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do that soon, but I'm probably going to stack them by rows. So that when it is time to join them, it's a little easier. They do look pretty random, I guess. Okay, I found, I think what I'm going to do, I found these little cups. Okay, let's try this. I have a little plate. Little saucers. Actually, I have little teapots and spoons. So I may do one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me do those. little shoes okay I didn't want to do those okay the day sort of got away from me I blocked this while speaking to my husband so I didn't get a chance to record but I gave it a good soaking and it's now on the blocking mats I was able to block this and also my husband's fisherman hat um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I guess what I do struggle with as far as when I block it is I feel like it changes so much once it's blocked in length. So I never know how long to make my sweaters because it was long enough when I knit it. But then when I block it, my fear is always going to, is it going to be too big? This time I knit it a little shorter, thinking when I block it, it's gonna be longer. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. If anyone has any suggestions as far as, do you all, when you make your gauge swatch, do you block your swatch? Or do you just get gauge and start knitting? I never block my swatches. And I know that changes it a lot. Look at that beautiful woman. <laughs> Are you podcasting or vlogging? I'm vlogging. I cracked problem. <laughs> <laughs> I printed up the pattern for my Shetland Peary mittens. So I got that. And I think I'm going to do these four colors to start with. We'll see if that changes, but for now, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, the mid along starts Friday, so by the time I upload this, it'll be day two. Um, oh, also, these come with the option to do a side gore thumb or a peasant thumb. If anyone has any suggestions, I think I'm going to do the side gore thumb which means the thumb comes out of the side versus the peasant. It almost just comes out of the middle of the mint. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it's ver your thumb coming out of here versus the thumb coming out of like almost the middle somewhere. Sorry, no, the lighting in here is horrible. But I just wanted to say, um, sorry if this vlog was a little disjointed. I wasn't sure. Whether or not to vlog, I think I had one comment say that I should, um, 
but if this is something you guys are interested in please let me know and i will um make a better effort in terms of thinking through what i will vlog about um